friends. Welcome to Houston's First Preschool, Fours and Ks. And I know promotion just happened, so welcome. Welcome to Bible study. Before we get started with our Bible story, I'm going to sing you a Bible verse. So it is, I am wonderfully made, Psalm 139, 14. And I'm going to sing it. I am wonderfully made, wonderfully made, wonderfully made. I am wonderfully made. Psalm 139.14. Ready? Sing it with me. I am wonderfully made, wonderfully made, wonderfully made. I am wonderfully made. Psalm 139.14. Good job. Say it with me one more time. I am wonderfully made. Psalm 139.14. Remember that, friends. You, me, your parents, everything in the world is wonderfully made. Amen. Hi, friends. So we're still in the book of Genesis. And that means in the beginning, when it was only God, and then he created the world, and then he created the plants, and then the, all the animals in the sky, and the sea, and the land. Well, remember, he made Adam and Eve last time. That's right. So today's story is out of Genesis. So you need to get your Bibles. This time I want you to get your Bibles and try to find the book of Genesis. It's in the very beginning. It will be very easy for you to find it. It starts with a G. And it's based out of Genesis 1, 27 through 28. And 3, verse, chapter 3 verse 20, and then chapter 4, 1 through 2 verses. Okay, find that with your parents or whatever loving family member you're with. So know that God had always planned for families to exist. Do you have a family? What does that look like? Love your family members. And I'm going to tell you a story about the first family from Adam and Eve. So God had made man and woman, man being Adam and woman being Eve. And did you know that she was named Eve because she was the mother of everything? Well, he placed them in the Garden of Eden. That's right. And God gave them special instructions. He said, take care of the garden, work hard and have children, and take care of the fish and the birds and the land animals, all the animals. That's right. And Adam and Eve were also told to not eat from this one particular tree. But do you know what? Adam and Eve made a really bad decision. They ate from that tree that God told them not to eat from. So guess what happened? They were removed from the Garden of Eden. God removed them from the garden. And they had to leave. And after Adam and Eve left the garden, they had to work so, so hard. And Eve had a son and named him Cain. And then she had another one and named him Abel. Both Cain and Abel worked really hard until they were old. When they grew older, they, they worked very hard throughout their years. And Abel was a shepherd and Cain was a farmer. You know what a shepherd is, right? They're the ones that herd all the animals or the sheep. And um, a farmer is one that grows crops and takes care of the land. And Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel, say it with me, Adam and Eve were mommy and daddy. And they had Cain and Abel, two sons. And they were the first family on earth. That's right. Isn't that amazing? How do you think you can show love for your family? 
how do you think you can show love for the land and animals around you? Get with your loved ones today and try to brainstorm on some things you can do to love on God's world. Bye, friends.